Hey, Sasha here. Hi, I'm Wesley. Hi, my, my, my name is Leon. Hi, my name is Merlin. Hi, I'm Joy. And we're here at Amsterdam at the Q Factory at the Black Star Room. Trying out the new St. James Amps. Man! All right, so now we're gonna use this uh, 606 combo. Was holding up pretty well in the in the in the lows also. Holy shit! <laughs> Let's turn back the gain a bit then and try the. Oh no no! Keep this keep the gain the same. Okay, so there's gain on this. <laughs> It sounds cool. It sounds like uh, familiar to me, uh, like those American amps, you know, and that's what I like. It sounds like really round, but also the top end is like glassy, glassy. But but also the the mids, but because the, those amps sometimes lack a, a bit in the mids. But I like this that this does have a little bit of of that mid range that you really need when you're like playing in a band, you know? So. It, and it's just very like responsive, like when I to do that, it's like loud and when I go it's like... It's quite percussive as well. Yes, it is. Like... So that sounds great, yeah. What I like as well, like the, the back pickup on a telly can be a little like ice picky and yeah. this doesn't have that because when I'm going like... It still sounds like good or, or like not too harsh, I think. <laughs> right, voice two. Balls. <laughs> can we say balls? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, can I try the, the reverb? Yeah, the, this is like half, half up. Okay, let's to try it up all the way. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that sounds
That's great. That great man. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> yes, but, but with the, the chords I was playing, it, it was like so still you c c could hear the individuals individual strings, like, yeah. and, and that's I think that's, that's really rare. Cool. Yes, th th that sounds good. That sounds great. Yeah, it's a cool amp. I like it. Yeah. You told me there was an insane amount of gain. That wasn't this channel, right? Yeah, so the next it's channel, can push the gain even more, switch it in. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> Clapton Blues Breaker. Yeah. 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 I really like that blues. It's uh, it's just very lively, very warms up the whole feeling of it. Uh, maybe the reverb off. Let's see how. Like totally, what what happens? Whoa, <laughs> that's honest, man. <laughs> really honest. So, so let's boost the mids a bit. I'm I'm now at like uh, three o'clock. That sounds cool. Let's dime the mid, the mids. <laughs> So you can choose like like your headroom or something. Yeah. yeah. I think it's really cool. It's like for the for the um, let's say the blues or blues rock player. This would be awesome. Yeah. Uh, feels feels kind of vintage. Really cool. Um, I'm guessing like if if you need high gain, you'd go for this one. I think I don't know yet, uh, but that's what I would say. I also like the the equalizing. Uh, thing like if you go to channel two, you have the mid boost and treble boost, or like working differently actually. Yeah, yeah. And, and really easy. Yeah, really easy to use. Yeah. Well, I think uh, to me, it, it um, there's a lot of amps out there claiming that they can do both, you know, like the black panel Fender type thing and the uh, Marshall esque, Vox esque British type yeah. tone. And this is this has got the headroom and punch of a of a Fender amp, but with the second channel, you can really get into that British territory as well. So yeah, finally, one of those spec sheets is correct. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, even with the to me, a sign of a, of, a, of a good amp or a good pedal, no matter where you set the EQ, it's going to sound good. And even with the mids fully cranked, there was a great tone, clean and 
yeah. with the drive channel. So I think those two channels are really, um, they will re really tweak to each other, like really balanced. Yeah. Yeah. Then it, it, then, then it gets that, like when, when you're pushing an old tube amp really hard and the, and the transistor starts caving in and gets m kind of muddy in the low ends, but without um, becoming um, undefined. Yeah, without becoming undefined. Yeah. Well, well, here it goes. Oh, that's really light. That's like the like a grocery bag light, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this is the moment. This is the moment. Let's do it. Okay. Oh my God, it's so light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. So let's see uh, how much this weighs. Okay, so this is crazy. This is crazy light, okay. Holy shit. <laughs> so I can just go on my bike to my gig, actually. Okay, yeah, this is crazy. Okay, yeah, I started out with a twin reverb when I was younger, so this is a big difference. <laughs>